Hi, welcome to the farm. I'm excited today. We're getting ready to dig potatoes here in the garden. I want to show you, <coughs> excuse me, I want to show you the garden out toward the outer end out there is where the potatoes are. My husband's coming with the tractor. He's using a, uh, a, a plow that he designed using a subsoiler and so we plow them out. We, we bush hog this off a, a week ago Monday. Today's Friday. So Monday a week ago, we bush hogged it off thinking we were going to dig that very next night. Well then, his work fell apart, and he worked till like 9 o'clock that night. The next night he worked late, and then it set in raining. And it has rained several days. So we've got three days now that's been dry. So we're going to see how well it does. And uh, I'm, I'm really excited for this. We've got sweet potatoes. We've got uh, regular potatoes. Uh, they're all mixed together. Uh, Kenny backs and, and red potatoes are just they're just all mixed together from what was left over from last year as we planted. But the sweet potatoes we bought new, uh, they're Covington sweet potatoes, got them from R.H. Shumway. And man, uh, we, when we did dig the other night, it was muddy, but we got a few out. Man, those sweet potatoes were absolutely the sweetest sweet potatoes I have ever tasted. Delicious. So, I'm excited. So I'll, I'll video a little bit when he gets over here with the plow and then video a little bit about what we're digging out. So, hope you enjoy this video. All right, digging them out. We'll make about three passes through here. Oops, there I see some already. Popping up to the top. Oh yeah. Oh man, those look good. Okay, now we're going down through the row, or at least my husband is, and digging. We're going to plow through again another time or two. We've been finding quite a few down in there. Of course, they're showing up while we're videoing. That's usually the way it goes. Let me some more. There was some right in here because I picked them up. Dig, get a fork full from the back side. Okay, it must be all of them up this way. This was the end of the row. Okay. Okay, we're going to make another pass. We've gotten quite a few of the regular potatoes. We haven't really dug out the sweet potatoes yet, but got a basket. Almost two baskets full. I think there will be more. Well, this plow has made all the difference. Well, the ground's kind of soft from that rain, and so, but it's not muddy, which is really it turned out to be a good thing. But still, we've had to dig them by hand when we didn't. The ground wasn't soft. It's a back grabber. Yeah, I see. I see some coming out. Yeah, see them. Yet. I know they're there, but all right. 
We got through digging. I think we got them all. Of course, like Joe said, we could probably come back in December and still find more. The ground was was still pretty tacky, pretty wet. So the sweet potatoes, which looks like we got about three quarters of a bushel of sweet potatoes, which is pretty good, but I wish there had been more. But there still could be some sweet potatoes in there because some of these came up in big old clods of mud and we didn't even know they were potatoes until we started breaking the mud apart or the dirt apart. So I think I'm going to come up again tomorrow after the sun's been on this all day and dried out a little bit and just sort of loosely dig through and see if there's there's any more. Our regular potatoes, which were a mixture of red potatoes and, and Kennebec potatoes. I just took what we had last year that had sprouted and cut them up and planted them. I, I didn't uh, d divide them up between the two colors, so they just sort of mixed. That's okay because about all we do is just cook them and, and eat them that way, so it really doesn't matter. So looks like I got probably about three quarters of a bushel of regular potatoes. I'll have to clean them up a little bit and then I'll weigh them to be sure, but I really would like to have about that much again, or at least half a much, half again that much, but anyway, that'll do us for a good while, and, and uh, I'll catch potatoes on sale and buy some whenever I find them at the store, but anyway, just wanted to share that that little adventure. I'm, I'm pleased. I, I do wish there'd been more, but, but I'm pleased with them, and so I'm especially glad that all that rain they didn't rot that was what i was worried about so there you have it and we'll talk to you later from the farm hi i've got a little add-on that i want to do to the digging potatoes video we've got quite a few potatoes we got about i guess about three quarters of a bushel of sweet potatoes and uh irish potatoes uh as well so uh, i just want to show what i'm going to do with them i've got I've got one basket out here. You can see the potatoes. They're they're really dirty, you know, and, and a lot of a lot of kind of muddy type dirt sticking to them where the ground was, was still a little bit wet whenever we dug them. So what I'm gonna do is I've got a pair of just just old generic work gloves. Uh, we bought a, a pack of 10 of these for when we had a project going on here. We thought we might have some help. So we've got a lot of these gloves left over. So what I'm going to do with these potatoes is just just brush off. These gloves are kind of rough. So I'm just going to brush off the excess dirt and mud of these and put them in a basket. And then I'm going to spread them out here put them in the stairwell because it's cool, cooler in there and it's it's dark and so that will keep them uh, longer into the fall and what I'm going to do with some of these uh, some of them I, I may can some this year I haven't canned any in a long time but I've been watching some other videos and and I may take that back up again I have canned them I, I really like to can them in with with um, uh, chicken or with uh, deer or beef and make soup and that makes for a really quick meal just to dump that out and heat it is all you have to do. Uh, but I may can some plain, but really the best way that I like to do them takes a little bit more room, uh, but I like to put them in the freezer. And, and the way I do that is um, I'll, I'll, of course, wash them really well. And then I bake the potatoes to just almost done. And just so they're still uh, firm. Uh, not not as done as you would eat them for baked potatoes, but still firm. And then <coughs> the bigger ones I will peel and then flash freeze and then put them in the freezer. And then you've got potatoes whenever whenever you need them quickly to go in soups or stews. They're great to fry that way. Ooh. Sorry, I was distracted. There was a little hummingbird. We seldom have hummingbirds here. <laughs> anyway, so um, that's what I'm going to do with them. A lot of times when you have these these real tiny ones. Let me show you. Little little bitty ones. Sometimes we call these marbles. I mean, here's some just 
tea tiny ones. I don't throw those away. I wash them really well and and uh, freeze them whole and then put them in green beans and things like that whenever I, I cook them. But I have, actually have a video on that. I'll try to put a link to that video uh, in the description box on how to, to preserve these small potatoes or how to preserve these potatoes. But anyway, I'm just going to clean these up. Here's a, a basket of, or a box from, from putting these that I'm cleaning them. And uh, so I just wanted to add that to the video just to give you an idea of, of a way to, to uh, take care of your potatoes so you don't have all this this dirt in your house whenever you get ready to, to take them in and use them. So um, just a little addition to the video. So I hope you enjoy it. <music> 